Hi, YouTubers and what shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This morning, I'm going to have a shave with the DS Cosmetic Green Handle Razor. On their webpage on AliExpress, they call this the Vert Empire Resin Handle. It's a 26 millimeter knot with a, a tuxedo knot, 26 millimeters, 56 millimeter loft, and a 38 millimeter base. And you can see here it says DS Cosmetic on the bottom. Really nice uh, logo. And it has moderate backbone to it. It's very soft, very, very soft. It has moderate backbone to it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try this out and see how it performs. Now, I'm going to use uh, a hard, hard soap with it because, as you know, if you've watched my channel, I like to use synthetic brushes with hard soaps, shaving sticks, even cropes. Um, but uh, I want to use a really, really hard soap this morning. So we're going to be using uh, Razor Rock Orange Sunrise. And this is a very hard soap. I haven't used this in a while. I bought this in a three pack from Italian Barber. I'll have links below because uh, the three scents that come with that are very moderately priced. So um, that's really a hard soap. So we're going to go ahead. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot water on that right now. So it starts softening up because that's very, very hot very very hard the water is very very hot <laughs> okay just a little bit on there so it will loosen up and i'm going to go ahead and fill my sink with some warm water warm water shave with warm water but i use hot water to really kind of get the hard soap softened up and going kind of get that that softness get that nice first layer to soften up on it i use hot water for that but when shaving or soaking my brush, warm water. Shave with warm water. All right, so that's uh, that's good enough. So we're going to take the brush and we're just going to put it in the sink there like that. Let that soak. Uh, so I'm going to kick it all off with uh, Vikings Blade Sunrise Citrus uh, Pre-Shave Oil. I'm going to use uh, something I haven't used in quite some time. I'm going to be using my Gillette, my vintage Gillette slim adjustable razor boy i haven't used this in a long time and even though it adjusts from one all the way on up to uh nine i usually am right there at three four and five maybe not even five um because it tends to get a little aggressive in those upper areas for me but I, i'm going to start it off at level four right there now if you get one of these uh, here's a tip that i've learned online and i'm going to pass it on to you so you don't have to hunt around for it um, when you load a blade and you close the doors all the way, you have to give it another quarter turn to lock everything in place like that. So it locks in place. So now everything is locked in place. Now, when you go to adjust it, make sure you take the tension off of that spring and loosen those doors up. And then you can go ahead and make your adjustments and click through. Okay, so we're going to set that at four and I'm going to open up the doors. And I'm going to be using a uh, Dorco Prime razor blade. So these are really nice. They're sharp. They're thin. like them a lot. I'm going to finish it off with my Osma Alum Block. And uh, boy, a new favorite. Pinot Clubman Virgin Isle Bay Rum Aftershave. Boy, I love this stuff. Uh, this has got a great scent. If you haven't tried this, get some. This is really, really terrific. And it has a great scent, great spicy scent, terrific aroma. Um, you'll get a hint of it uh, throughout your day, which is really nice. And it also has a, a, a cooling yet warm sensation. You know, it goes on, goes on cool, but then it really warms the skin. It has a nice bracing effect. Like it a lot. And for upstairs, uh, some Nivea aftershave balm. All right, I'm going to let this soak up. Uh, for the equivalent of a shower, and I'll be right back to uh, start this shave. Okay, I'm back. That was the equivalent of taking a shower, so everything should be ready to go. So let's wet the face and let's get the shave going. Okay, 
So I'm just giving a little ring, left some water in there, and I got a little bit of water left on top of the puck. So we're just going to go ahead and load this for about, let's say, 30 seconds and see how much lather we have after that. Might have to go a little bit longer than that because it is a really hard soap. Um, and I'm sort of using the Marco method here of using a, a wet brush and just turning it into, you know, just swirling it around in the soap here. And it is getting kind of messy, so you got to do it over the sink. So it's running off the side here because I'm trying to show you what's going on. But uh, this, so, this brush so far is doing a nice job. Something else I didn't realize, DS Cosmetic is one of the three major shading brush manufacturers in China. That's on their page. I never knew that. Okay, that's been 40 seconds. Let's take a look at the load. I'm going to go a little more because um, it's a hard soap and uh, I want to get as much on this brush as possible. But it really is picking it up well. Okay, that's been a minute. You can see I'm getting, just getting that nice cream now. Just starting to get that nice cream. Okay, a little more. I, I'm going to go a little more just because this is such a hard, hard soap. But you know what? If you, if you do that, you'll be rewarded with a really terrific lather. And this synthetic brush here, this DS Cosmetic brush, seems to be doing a really, really good job. Yeah, now look. Look at all that nice cream coming up there from the from the puck. Okay, I know I'm ready now. Okay, that's great. Rinse my hand a little bit here. All right, here we go. Very nice. Okay, add a little bit of water to it. And I'm going to do a little more of a face lather. You can see how I'm getting some really good lather, though. A little bit on the thin side. Let's just scrape this off a little bit and get a little bit more of that cream because this is really, there we go. That's why I went with this hard soap because I want to see how this brush is doing a job. Any other brush would not have been able to do this. I can tell you that right now. Any other natural hair brush because this is a really hard soap and this, when you talk about soaps that are difficult to lather, these these really, really hard soaps, yeah, these can be these can be really difficult. I'm going to get a little more here because that water I added was a little too much. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but look at how the brushes really, really help that out. Yeah, it was a little bit on the thin side there. It really was. Look at that now. Look at that now. That really is. Okay. Took me a little more, but boy, I think this brush really saved the day. It's the combination of water and soap, and these hard soaps, sometimes they don't give up that, that uppermost layer. You really have to work them. That's why I wanted to use it, because I want to see how this brush did the job. And it, look, it's done a great, great job. Now I got a lather. It was a little too thin there when I added that little bit of water there, but now, yeah. Look, really nice. Really, really nice. That's terrific. I had to go in and just get a little more of a load, but boy. And that sunrise, that citrus scent is terrific. Really, really nice. Very, very nice. I mean, that really wakes you up. Okay, I'm all loaded up here. Let's heat up this razor and let's get with the first pass. 
Okay, I'm at level four on this, which should be about right for me. All right, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Yeah, that's perfect. Smooth, really smooth for me. This Dorco Prime blade is really nice and smooth. Perfect, 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 perfect. You know, I dare say I could probably turn it up a notch. Boy, I tell you what, this soap is slick. That's some slick soap. It takes a while to get it going. And as I say, you want to get a good brush like this DS Cosmetic brush. It's a really good synthetic brush and it does a great job in generating that lather, especially with a really hard soap like that. That's why I wanted to use the hard soap to show you. Nice, really nice. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Really nice first pass. I mean, on par with all the others. And uh, this soap generates a lot of nice slickness. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just grab a little more soap here because these hard soaps, you know, you really gotta work them. You really do. Okay, so there we go. And I'm gonna lather up for my second pass. Again, this brush is doing a great job. I'm, I'm convinced with Tabak or Mitchell's, I would have had to lather much more quickly. Those are much easier to lather than the harder soaps that are out there. I mean, they're really hard soaps like I'm using right now. But once you build a lather from them, uh, boy, you, it, it pays big dividends with the shave. Very, very wonderful, wonderful slickness from this soap. You just have to, you just have to work it a little more. And I, again, I recommend a good synthetic brush like this DS Cosmetic brush. Really doing a nice job. Really very, very nice. Okay, second time around, a lot of lather there. Really nice, a lot of nice protection. So, we're, so I'm really happy. <laughs> I haven't used this soap in a, in, a, in a long, long time. So coming back to it, you kind of have to remember the routine and some of the moves and realize it's going to take a little longer than some of the other soaps, but boy, is it great. Okay, so I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. Instead of going up, I was thinking about maybe going up to five. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go with the mild shave. We're going to go down to level three, if you can see that. And then I'm going to close the doors, quarter turn to tighten, and lock everything in place. All right, here we go. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Okay, it's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, that was nice. I'm getting a really nice mild shave. And for all practical purposes, I'm ready to go to the office. But you know, I like this shaving soap so much and the brush is doing such a great job. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a third pass. And again, I'm gonna get this little bit of cream that has built up here to help generate that final lather. Great citrus scent, really nice. But again, look at how nicely this, this brush works. As Soon as you hit the ratio of uh, soap to water from these hard soaps, uh, you'll get a great lather. It's like, I, again, I can't emphasize enough. Be patient because it does take a little more time to get that, to get that lather. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. When you get a nice lather like this, 
it just gives you a terrific shave. And a lot, a lot of slickness here. But really, the hero is this brush. This brush, now look here, let me show you. Look how much lather I've got there yet. See that? Look at that. And it's just generated this. Now, I probably could have done a bowl lather from here rather than on my face because I was really working up into my face. You know, could have really used the Marco method of getting a really wet brush and working it into that hard puck of soap and then taking that and putting it into a bowl and really working it into a lather in the bowl or even on the palm of my hand probably would have uh, probably would have fared a little bit better than doing it on my face but I like the face lather and I wanted to show you easy to show you on camera um, you know some of the pitfalls and some of the, um, the the recovery so to speak this has been great this has been a really terrific shave I'm really enjoying this we're gonna loosen this up I'm at three and I'm gonna take it down to one. This is going to be a really, really mild, mild pass. And I'm going to make sure that that's, because my hands are kind of slick, I'm going to make sure that that is locked into place at one. It's going to be very mild. It's a bit of mild shade, which is what I wanted. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go south to north against the grain. Terrific. Terrific, 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 terrific. Even a little bit hair on the corner of my mouth when I didn't have a lot of cream visible, there was still some protection there. And at, even at level one, you know, you want to be careful, but boy, did a nice job. Really, really very nice. All right, uh, that's it, let's rinse. It took a lot to get that slickness off. There's a lot of slickness there. I'm going to empty my sink and I'm going to go right from the tap and do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Again, when you're shaving, warm water only. It's okay to put hot water on your soap puck to help move along the softening process. And I even use hot water to heat up my razor, but then I swirl it into the warmer water just to bring up the temperature because sometimes you don't want a cold razor hitting your face. It's just me, just a little thing I do. But warm water when you do the wet shave. Warm water. A lot of guys, and I've done it, do cold water shaves, and that's fine. In the summer months, you want to try a cold water shave, they work great. But traditionally, you want warm water to soften up the whisker. All right, here we go. My two final rinses. Warm and then cold. Here's warm. All right, I'm going to turn it over to cold. This is one of my favorite parts right here, the cold water rinse. Really wakes things up. Especially when you're, you're using a, a citrus-based soap like, like uh, I have been this morning. It just, you know, it just wakes things up. Or a menthol, uh, like a CO Bigelow or Paraso Green. Boy, this cold water makes a difference. Okay, cold water is. Oh, that's great. That was great. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that's terrific. Very nice. Wow, that felt great. Really, really nice. Nice. And I think I'm probably right at the level, um, right at the, at the proper settings for this uh, slim adjustable. I think if I go any higher than that, it's probably going to be a little too much for me. Um, it's a really efficient razor. If you don't have one of these, uh, look, look at yard sales, look on eBay antique stores these are terrific james bond even used it in goldfinger so you know there you go <laughs> it's gotta be good right um osma allen block gonna run under some cold water and run it over my face to knock down any irritation micro abrasions see if you get any feedback you get a lot of zinging and stinging and that sort of thing then uh, maybe maybe we were a little too aggressive but we're gonna we're gonna see i i kept it on the mild side which is what i like um, so here we go. No stinging, very, very, very subtle zing here and there, but nothing really to write home about. A nice, nice mild shade, which is what I wanted. Nice and mild. Very, very nice. Yeah. 
And again, if you get a little irritation, it'll, this will definitely knock it down and keep it in check. So what I do is I like to wipe it, pat it dry, and then uh, place it in. I've got a plastic dish here. Uh, got to guess I've got it for a quarter at a second hand store. Just put it in there like that and let it air dry. It'll be ready for the next shave uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, so we are going to let that uh, kind of sit on the face and set up a little bit. I'm going to do some cleanup and we're going to wrap up the shave. I'm going to tell you a little more about this brush. did a great job. It really, really did. So um, hang in there. I'll be right back. The, uh, the cleanup on this was amazing. I mean, look. Look at that. All I did was rinse it on the faucet, give it a, a gentle squeeze like this, you know, wring it out just gently, and then a few vigorous shaves. And <laughs> this thing is, it's nearly dry. This is wonderful. What a wonderful brush. Boy, this really performed well. This was terrific. Really a terrific, terrific brush. Wow. I mean, really, really very, very nice. Did a great, great job. Um, and you can see here that um, won't fit here on my Admiral stand, but right up here, it'll fit there very nicely. So that works out great uh, in that respect. But look, it's nearly, nearly dry. That's terrific. All right, we're gonna finish it off with some Pinot Clubman Virgin Isle Bay Rum. Yeah, like this stuff a lot. One of my new favorites. Got a oh boy, I love the scent. Wow, just beautiful, really nice. I, I, again, you know, a little bit of a bracing effect, has a really uh, warm fragrance to it. Uh, it's got that a um, uh, little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of warm spices, uh, just really, really terrific. And then when I say cinnamon, it's not overbearing. It's just a, a, a low note within the formula, so to speak. Really, really nice. And it's got that that bay, that bay leaf. Oh, that's just just terrific. Here is Nivea aftershave balm. I'm gonna put some upstairs there. And um, wow, just terrific, just terrific, terrific, terrific. Really, really nice shave this morning. Wow, just really terrific. Wow, great shave. Just terrific. Um, I can't, wow. I just, I, that, was a, that was a really, really nice shave. Uh, this DS Cosmetic brush really saved the shave. Had I used any other natural hair brush, I don't know. I really don't know if I would have been able to get uh, lather from um, this Razor Rock uh, hard soap. This is great soap. Don't misunderstand me. It's great soap, but because it's a hard soap, you really have to be patient with it. Uh, that's been my experience. Uh, then again, uh, I haven't used it in a while. So, you know, you, you get out of a routine on how to um, more effectively build a ladder with, uh, with these kinds of hard soaps. This is definitely harder than Tabak. It's harder than Mitchell's. Certainly harder than Arco. Uh, harder than uh, the Derby Shave Stick, uh, which means it's going to take a little more uh, work and swirling of the brush to really get a good load, to get a good face lather. And you saw right there at the beginning, uh, things were getting a little too thin there. I had to go in, I had a little too much water in my face, had to go in and get a little more soap. And all of a sudden, you know, boom, you got this really, really nice lather. But there is a great slickness there and a really nice citrus scent. But the main point here is the DS Cosmetic brush here, the Vert Empire handle, resin handle, uh, 26 millimeter knot, tuxedo knot, 56 millimeter loft, 38 millimeter base. This really did a nice job. I am very, very impressed with this brush. Uh, nice and soft, great performance, really, really did a great job in building a lather from what I consider to be a, a more difficult hard soap to really tame and uh, it came through with flying colors. Yeah, had to get a little more soap, but again, you're always playing with water soap ratio. Try to get that right combination to, uh, to get that lather. But you could see uh, by the time I was onto my second and third passes there, um, 
plenty of lather and uh, this brush really really did a nice job so that's it the ds cosmetic vert empire <laughs> resin handled brush 26 millimeter knot tuxedo knot really did a nice job very very soft as i say had enough backbone to handle it some nice flow through i really enjoyed my shade with this okay that's it thanks very much for tuning in i really do appreciate it please share please subscribe hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time i upload a video please check out my blog georgetune.com blog for my comic strip george other cartoons other videos like this and i'll see you again real soon